Yo, what up, YouTube? My name is Alan Pinto, audio engineer. If you haven't seen my videos before, um, I basically teach people how to mix, master, record on Logic and Pro Tools. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys like what I'm doing, uh, please leave a like. It really helps with my videos and it uh, encourages me to keep being able to teach as much as I know. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. So today, I'm gonna show you guys some basic EQ. I recorded this on the shittiest mic. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take audio that might not be the best quality. And we're gonna add some effects on there and do some uh, reverse engineering. And we're gonna get this shit sounding crispy. Crispy cream, baby. All right, so let's get it started. First off, we're gonna go uh, don't mind these four tracks. I had them all the brown tracks. Those are like backups just in case they have the effects on them that I usually use um, But for right now Don't even mind them. So we're gonna go into this first verse And the most important thing this is every artist, you know, most important thing is Auto-tune so if you don't know how to find auto-tune we're gonna go to pitch, pitch corrector, and actually, let me do it an easier way. This down here, these tracks are showing you these up here. So you can either use this, or you can just go to the track and go over to this side. So for demonstration purposes, I'll use this right here. And at the end, we're gonna go back here and and look at them all from afar. So let me fucking close that. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Don't worry about these buses right now. We're gonna go to the creme de la creme, the auto tune. For this lesson, I'm gonna use all stock plugins because I know a lot of people um, just downloaded Logic and they don't have the fancy plugins that um, you know I usually use, but this works the same. We're gonna go to here, pitch, pitch correction, mono, that's the only option. Uh, we're gonna go to fast. Now, I've already figured out what key this is. So I'm gonna take the key from over here. I'm gonna do a little cheating. Uh, a sharp major. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to major scale. We're gonna go to A sharp. And now this should be some good auto tune for this. Perfect, we found the auto tune. Now, what we can do is we're gonna go to this mixer right here again, and we're gonna copy and paste that. And how we do that is we press, we hold down option and we click and drag. So now we got the auto tune throughout all the, um, through every track, through every vocal track. And you know, this is to your liking, but um, this is a quick tutorial. Um, I know some people don't like the extra auto-tune, so with this re-response, you can make the auto-tune a little less, a little more. I like that. I like uh, this song is kind of a sound cloudy, auto tune song. So, you know, we can add, we can sauce that bitch up. So, I copied, I just copied and pasted that newly uh, revised pitch corrector onto all the tracks. So, next is your EQ. Your EQ is very important because you can hear if you hear. <laughs> You could tell that audio is not all the way there. It's very, um, it's just kind of, it's got a lot of lows. Oh, sorry. I forgot we're using stock plugins. 
So we're gonna go to EQ, and this is a good EQ. It's called the channel EQ, mono. Logic has a pretty good EQ. Uh, a lot of people like using this one. This is what I used before I even downloaded any um, fancy plugins. So right off the bat, let's do this and let's click, hold, drag, and let's just create a loop for the vocals so that we just hear the vocals over and over again and we can get them right. <laughs> We're going to press this analyzer right here so that we can see the vocals. You see how we kind of see the vocal waves? So right off the bat, this is probably recommended, no, not probably, this is definitely recommended with every audio engineer. Right off the bat, we're going to cut the lows. We're gonna bring this, we're gonna click this red um, slope. And we're gonna drag it over to at least maybe like over here. And every voice is gonna be different. You kinda of gotta use your ears. All right, that sounds good. You want to get those lows and all that muddy stuff out of there. Um, usually anything less than 100 in the voice is a... Uh, it's not a good sound, it's almost like a muffled sound. So if you already have kind of a bad mic, you right off the bat, you wanna cut those lows um, from 100 hertz down. And that's usually standard in even big studios. You can kind of maybe go to like 75, but really, if you're not using a great mic, get those 100 hertz and lower, get them on out of here, man, right away. All right, so we're gonna use our ears a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to cut. So before I compress, I cut like ugly sounds out. So we're gonna make this a little uh, skinny. This lower bottom number makes it fatter or skinnier. So we're gonna make it like skinny, maybe like seven. And we're just gonna use this top and we're gonna sweep. We're gonna sweep left and right, left and right. And we're gonna try and hear, use our ears, and we're gonna try and find some ugly sounds in the voice that we wanna get rid of. So. Oh yeah, that's ugly. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna go to the middle number right here. We're gonna double click it and we're gonna say negative three. And that basically cuts that bad sound out a little bit. And we're gonna do the same thing with this over here. We're gonna go to the bottom one, double click seven. We're gonna make it maybe like eight so that we can start sweeping again. Oh yeah, that's the one right there. We're gonna go negative three. Now you can go negative three to negative five. Uh, usually audio engineers don't recommend going, unless it's like a crazy sound, don't go uh, below negative five because negative five now you're just like cutting so much of the voice out that it might um, affect, you know, the overall quality. Um, but negative three is a really good place to start. Um, now, cut that vocal out. That's looking pretty good. Um, we can take this, and I also like to I I like to cut, and then I like to boost some of the highs right away. 
before I uh, compress. Ace in New York, I said cool down. I feel for you, I don't know how. And now this time we're gonna go to maybe like three, whatever. And we're gonna look for a sound that we like. So we got two cuts and we're gonna find one that we like. Ace in New York, I said cool down. I feel for you, I don't know how. Okay, so now we found a sound that we like and we're going to boost that. I, I made it negative four. Actually, that's a little crazy. I'm getting crazy. I'm wild, man. I'm wild. All right, hold up. Let me go down to just three, okay? So I boosted that up to like three, okay? So, and there's no limit with this. Um, you don't want to go crazy right away. Um, but before you, oh, there's, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. There's no limit to how many cuts you do before um, you compress. I do keep in mind that uh, less is more, you know, that's very important. The more you uh, like fuck with the voice, the less uh, life it got, you know. But if you hear a, if you hear more bad sounds that you want to get rid of, you can get rid of them. I, I, I did two right away. I usually do two to three. That's like usually what I hear. And then besides that, I don't really fuck with it like that until after. Um, but those first two, that's a good place to start. And if you hear like four, don't be afraid to use that fourth one and cut that little sound out or whatever. And then I usually boost like one good sound that I like before it goes through compression, just so that it can um, give it a little sauce. So we're gonna close out of this. Um, we're gonna copy and paste again, hold down option. And we're gonna take that to all of the um, tracks right here. So then the next is compression. So we're gonna go down to dynamics and we're gonna go to compressor, mono. So this one is not my favorite um, compression, but it works. So just to get a good place to start voice, I'm gonna go to like, Maybe a rap vocal. Let's see what that does. Okay, right away, we got a lot of ratio. I'm going to take this down to like maybe six or five. Um, I'm going to take this. Okay, so um, I'm not going to go too much into compression because we could sit here and talk about that all day. I'm going to give you some of the key points. And if you guys want to learn more about compression, be sure to click the link in my description. I have a whole eight video logic beginner course for where I go into deep depth about what compression is, why do we use it, what are the basic rules for compression, how do I figure out um, how much compression I need, how, well, how much is too much compression, all that is going to be in my logic um, tutorial, my audio engineering logic tutorial. Um, but for right now, I'm going to show you guys what I did right now. Basically, um, I took off this limiter because, you know, I just want to keep it strictly compression. Compression and limiting is different. I saw that it was giving me negative seven dBs of compression and 
any audio engineer would tell you, you really don't want to go past three. You know, all the best audio engineers in the world would tell you, you do not want to go past three unless you got like Waka Flocka or fucking XXX Tentacion like screaming in your mic or whatever. But for the most part, you don't want to go past three. That's a golden rule. You don't want to go past three. So I kind of lowered the threshold until it was, you know, it was over here at like 25 or something. I put it at 16.5. So I just messed around with it until I saw that it wasn't going past negative three. What I also did is I took the um, ratio and I made it a little less. So it was doing like, it was like a 12 to one ratio, which is like, it's a little intense. So I kind of brought it down to a five to one. And if you guys want to know what ratio is and what a threshold is, all that, again, click the link in my bio and check out my audio engineering logic, intro to logic tutorial or whatever. Yeah, and then I kind of lowered the input a little bit just so that it wasn't coming in so hot. And then um, distortion, I put soft distortion. Usually I don't put any, but whatever. Um, I'm getting a little crazy today. And yeah, in the makeup, it was all the way at like seven and we don't need that much makeup because I, again, I um, lowered the ratio so it wasn't getting crushed. You know, makeup is if, you, if you're crushing vocals, that makeup is basically to uh, kind of enhance them, but I never, but any real engineer like isn't really crushing vocals like that. So yeah, that's what we do with compression. So that sounds good. I'm about to copy and paste this again, hold down option. Click and drag. Hold down option, click and drag. All right, cool. So let's see what, you, what we got so far. So right off the bat, I hear that that hook needs to be brought down a little bit. I'm going to up the ratio. And you go, again, you got to use your ears, guys. I'm going to up the ratio. I'm going to bring it down like maybe 2 dBs. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to listen again, and I'm going to try and match it to the other vocals. Waiting for your message. We did we bang? We did we bang? Yeah, she's staying late. She's staying late. Yeah, yeah. I'm done with the things, baby. I'm done with the pain. That's great. Perfect. I could play this without the, uh, without the, uh, effects. And we'll show you guys what we did. I'm not going to do it without the auto tune, though, you know. That's flaw. This is with it. Oh yeah, you can hear that. It sounds crispier, it sounds cleaner. So now let's hear it with the compression. Well, this is without it. And this is with it. top of the the beat like real close but a little bit on top you know a little bit and then with the eq we bring it we kind of spike it up and we, we make it uh stand out but to start off with you really want that the vocals sitting right on top of the beat almost equal level just a little bit on top um so yeah that's what we did just now um 
So now I'm going to take another EQ. I'm going to go like this, channel EQ. And this is the part where now we start bringing out the sounds of the voice that we really like, you know? So click analyzer again so we can see those, uh, those waves. Okay, so right off the bat, again, we're gonna do the, the low cut. Yeah, we're gonna do the low cut and we're gonna cut out those lows. We're gonna go over to, this time we don't have to go all the way to 100, but we can go to like 75, you know, whatever. And, you know, we wanna make it a little, oop, I fucked up. And we wanna make it a little more steep like that. And that's just to get, cause if you saw, there were a little um, low frequency still sneaking in there from before. And we just went again and we cut them out and now it should be, should be straight. All right, so now we're gonna go into this. We're gonna find some more sounds that we like, you know, and we're just gonna sweep. So the high frequencies, you know, kind of clear up the voice a little bit. So I took this slope right here and I just boosted it two dBs. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it with the high cut frequency just so that it doesn't you, it doesn't get like uh, staticky, you know, whatever. So that brought a lot of a lot of the uh, clarity out of the voice, and it, it lets it sit more on top of the beat. It like brought it out a little bit. You feel me? I, I hear one little vocal down here like I hear a little sound down in the uh in the lower regions like the 200 and it does kind of, it, it sounds a little like muddy so I'm gonna see if I could scoop that out and i think i got it so that's that's a good uh eq so now if we, if we turn it off let's turn it on What I did right there is I like some of those 3K uh, frequencies, so I just kind of took a little scoop and I uh, and I boosted it up 3.5 because those are vocals that sometimes get that's a that's a sound in the voice that sometimes gets lost in a recording. So I saw that it was really low, so I just scooped it up and uh, kind of I mean don't use your eyes, use your ears. But that always kind of happens, so I'm, I always kind of like go back and look for those 3K frequencies um, because I know that sometimes they get lost, and those are like some good frequencies. It's like uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like like some I don't know. It adds, it adds some crisp. It adds some crisp to the voice, and it adds some uh, some like some attitude almost. You know, some fucking some sting. 
So I just added that. Uh, I made it 3.5 dBs higher. And I think I like that EQ right there. I mean, you could tell from the before and after that it's already, it made it sound crisp. We sounding crisp, we sounding good. I'm gonna copy and paste this. And, oops. And honestly, I'm not gonna go into reverbs and stuff because we're already kind of like 30 minutes deep. I'm probably gonna go into it maybe in another lesson. So if you wanna check that out, just go to my channel and, and I'll probably uh, name it part two or something of this one. So I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, please. It helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, let's go.